Installing the main supply plenum. Two types of duct are recommended for use with the high velocity system, spiral duct or snap lock duct. The main plenum should be located according to the design layout. Before beginning work, inspect the location of the duct to ensure there are no obstacles. It is essential that the main supply plenum extend a minimum of 18 inches from the fan coil before any elbows or tees are installed. For details on airflow requirements for branch or bullhead T connections, refer to the installation guide. When it is necessary to reduce the size of the main plenum, care must be taken in selecting the right number of branch outlets relative to duct size. The installation guide provides complete plenum sizing and selection tables. Typically, the main supply plenum is assembled on the floor before being suspended in place. Insert the elbow, T or end cap into the main supply plenum and ensure a tight fit. Secure the connection using four sheet metal screws. Seal all joints to ensure an airtight connection. The next step is to locate and drill the holes required for the branch takeoff outlets. Refer to the installation plan for outlet locations. Drill holes using a two and a quarter inch hole saw. Place the branch takeoff over the hole by aligning the curve shape of the branch takeoff with the curve of the plenum. Ensure that the opening in the branch takeoff lines up with the plenum hole. Push the branch takeoff tightly against the plenum and secure with four three-quarter inch self-tapping screws. Install all the branch takeoffs in this manner. In a suspended system, hang the plenum under the floor joist using sheet metal strapping. The plenum can also be concealed in the joist space depending on how the floor is constructed. In an attic, lay duct over the bottom cord of the roof trusses. If the main plenum runs through unconditioned space, such as an attic, or unheated crawl space, or is to be used in cooling applications, it must be insulated. With the high heat loss or gain from attics, it's also recommended to cover the plenum with the attic insulation in addition to the insulating sleeve. To install the insulation sleeve, Use a temporary cone reducer to make it easier to slide on the plenum. If an end cap is used, pull the insulation across the end and securely tape it to prevent heat loss. The insulation sleeve must be installed before the branch takeoffs are installed. To install the branch takeoffs with an insulation sleeve, cut through the insulation sleeve in an X fashion and install the branch takeoff outlet using sheet metal screws. Pull the insulation around the branch takeoff and seal using foil duct tape. If the duct is to be suspended, drill the holes so that the branch takeoffs will be pointing upwards at about 30 degrees to the horizontal. If located in an attic, branch takeoffs should be pointed slightly downwards at the same angle. For more information on installing the main supply plenum, refer to the installation guide.